Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be making some mincemeat mini fillets in breadcrumbs. So let's begin. So I have my bowl here big enough for half a kilo of meat. So I'll add that in and just spread it about. Then I will add, I'm using little teaspoons today so a little teaspoon of sweet paprika a little teaspoon of garlic powder it's dried up a bit here it's stuck to the bottom I mean I just washed this one that's why um, some provencal herbs also a little teaspoon some fresh parsley from my garden which I've chopped up some black pepper coloured ones today and some salt I nearly forgot that and the two eggs and next we're going to mix everything up now I'm going to add about three tablespoons of breadcrumbs I might have to add more all depends the consistency of it we need to have it so that we are able to make some balls out of it so if it's not that consistent just add some more of the breadcrumbs and we'll give this all a nice mix again I know it's messy but I usually use some plastic gloves but I can't find any if I see the consistency of it I can just about make some balls if I wanted to couldn't I so let's mix this as much as possible and I think I'm going to add another tablespoon of um, breadcrumbs and that should be enough yeah that's a good consistency now right so that's done nice big meatball so on to the next step right this to one side and I've got a plate here which I'm gonna add breadcrumbs in nicely spread about and now the same as if you were making meatballs so just roll them about in your hand and then just flatten them like that so a mini burger and we'll put them on there and just keep doing this until they're all done basically you probably have to do two batches on that plate or three so here's another one done put that on there as well and keep doing it I like to use only one hand I like to keep one 
dry so that I can do the camera and that. Right, so the next step is to just move them about and fully coat them into the breadcrumbs. So once they're fully coated, you put them onto another plate. And these, if you want, you can also freeze them. You wrap them up in cling film and you can freeze them for about three months at least. The same as the meatballs and the burgers, which I leave a link below, which is a very similar process to this. So we'll do this with all of them. I still have to do the another batch, but I won't show you that. It's boring, isn't it? It's the same thing. And in the next video, the one that follows this one, I will be making these in a delicious fried tomato sauce. So stay tuned. So now I'm going to finish these off. Well, so here they are, ready to go in the fridge. But first, I'm going to cover them up with some cling film. that nicely wrapped so they're going in the fridge and ready for tomorrow well thank you very much for watching today's quick recipe video please leave me a comment give me a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe turn them notifications on so that you don't miss out the delicious recipe that I'm going to be baking with these tomorrow Thank you for watching and goodbye.